I'd like to take a moment to discuss the concept of relative primes. This is something that becomes a lot more useful when you reach sort of a 700 level. So if you want to understand how some of the 700 plus properties of numbers questions actually work, you'll need to understand this concept of relative primes. Now, a relative prime does not necessarily mean that a number is a prime itself. But if you have two numbers, they share no factors except for one, then those two numbers would be relative primes. So let's write that down. And one of the most important things about relative primes that will be tested on the GMAT is the fact that, now a lot of the 700 plus GMAT questions will address the fact that any two consecutive integers must be relative primes. And we can prove this inductively, which we'll do in a moment. But the implication here, if any two consecutive integers must be relative primes, is that any two consecutive integers share no factors except for one. Let's just take a look at a few examples. So let's take some easy numbers. And the first step in a case like this would be to prime factorize. So let's look at some numbers that we know pretty easily. So let's say 49, for example. Now we know that the factorization of this is seven and seven. And if we look at 50, we know that the factorization here is two, 25, five, Five. So notice that these share no factors at all. So 7 times 7 and 2 times 5 times 5. And of course there's a gap of 1 here. And we have 51 is the next consecutive number, so that's 3 and 17. Of course a gap of 1 here. 2, 5, 5, 3 and 17, it shares no factors except for 1. 52, 2 and 26, 2 and 13. So again, 3 and 17, 2, 2, 13, shares no factors, we have a gap of 1. And 53, of course, is prime, so that is going to share no factors with 52. So again, gap of 1. So one thing that you'll notice here is that you always have this gap of 1. And another way that you could potentially think about this is that the divisibility of any two numbers is directly related to the gap between them. So for any two consecutive integers, because they only would ever have a gap of one, then they could only mutually be divisible by one. If you look in the top right hand corner, I've linked to a question that directly deals with relative primes. I encourage you to explore that question. It's a very difficult question, but to explore it to get an idea of how the GMAT might actually use relative primes. If you like this video, you found it useful, the best way to support the channel would be to click like or subscribe on YouTube. And if you're interested, we're offering a free 28 page properties of numbers guide that discusses some of the things like this that we've discussed in this video. So if you click at the link in the top right hand corner, that will take you to the place that you can download the guide. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.